new college ball 25 game. You're the highest rated guy in 83. Uh, first off, uh, do you, you like your rating or you think maybe you should be a little bit higher? Um, I, I'm good with my rating. I think the only thing is my speed. It's a 90. Some people might think like, hey, that's fast. Like, that's not bad. But I'm one of the fastest guys on the team. That should be higher. There's no reason why other people on the team should have fa faster speeds than me. So. I, I was do. talking to Coach Anacchione this summer, and he said that you had a chance to, to break the flying ten record, uh, and that you were it was Lincoln Victor here up against. Did you end up uh, surpassing him there I did late not. in the summer? I did not. No, I didn't. Um, I came out on that last testing day, and my legs just weren't feeling the same. And I still tested well. I, I tied my PR, but I didn't. I didn't PR. I didn't make any personal records. You know, at that nickel spot, you obviously were working with Jalen uh, Edmund a lot in the spring. He's obviously still working there, but now you got Jare Williams in there as well. What do you kind of think it, it does for your nickel group, adding a veteran like that who's played not only all over the secondary, but just has played a lot of college football? Um, I think he brings in some experience that we need in, in the safety room. I think uh, we have a, lo a lot of young guys, and being that he's, he's a vet and he knows so much football, it forces us to play up to his level, and he makes everyone around him better. How have you noticed from the receiver room you know, playing with, with, against K-Dub and, and guys like that, and how does that help you improve your game early in camp? Um, shoot, it makes me better every day. Um, they never, they're never taking days off. Uh, every time we go one-on-ones, anytime it's man coverage, they're bringing it every day. So they make us better every day. And a lot of Kook fans learned your name during the UCLA game. Obviously, that was a huge game for you. But um, how did that experience kind of help you? And now, you know, less than a year later, you know, how how has that kind of shaped your mentality entering in a new season? Shoot, it just helped me gain confidence and reminded myself that I belong at this level. Um, I belong, I can play at this level, and yeah. We've heard a lot about guys playing the new video game like in the locker room or just at home. Who is the best guy at the game on the team, do you think? Shoot, I'm not even, I'm not even caught up who's the best. <laughs> I, I barely play myself, but I just know I'm the highest rated on the team, so let's get it. <laughs> yeah, just kind of what you worked on the most going into fall camp this year. Uh, going into fall camp, I think just confidence, um, just knowing that I belong. Uh, Sharpening my uh, the schematics of the game, the playbook, knowing my job, and doing my 111. When you see someone like Tyson, uh, I'm sure you saw just like the diving pick that he had. One, did you see that? And two, what what does it kind of tell you about a guy like that? Shoot, he's just a ball player. He can he can make plays, and that's not even just right now. Even in the spring, he was making plays, and that's just his instincts. He's just a good good football player.